So good morning or good night, depending on where you are in the world. And welcome to another interview of The Shield Dude on a Couch. I'm your host, Hector. And today I'm joined by the band Moa. And they're a band that's going to put out a debut album on August 2. And it's it has a lot of like electronic meets like rock and metal type of vibes to it. Uh, pretty interesting. It's a self-titled record. And I have the two main members of the band here with me. I have Jason and Scott. So first of all, how are you guys this afternoon? Jason? I'm doing great. Thank you for having us. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Uh, and so tell us, uh, you know, what, what you do in the band. A little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we both kind of do a little bit of everything. There's no real one role that we fill in this one. Yeah, no, I, I, I read that, you know, you do some of you. There's one that does drums, you do synths, you do noises. Uh, so the how did the did you guys came up with this type of music? Like, how, how do you decide, like, hey, let's get together and let's do this experimental, like, electronic music with noises? Well, I mean, me and Jason have known each other since we were pretty young. I mean, we were probably 20 or 21 when we met each other. And, uh, you know, we're pushing 50 now. So we've known each other for close to 30 years. And um, he had a record label and we met through that. And he put out one of my old band's records. And we've been fast friends ever since. And we always tried to make music together, but we could never figure out how to do it because we like different styles. So this was just an uh, experiment and seeing if we could find some middle ground between us so that we could do something together. Okay. Like, uh, what, like Scott, uh, Jason, what kind of styles do, do you prefer? Yeah, I, I probably, what, what style? I don't know. Like, um, maybe a little more pop rock, uh, orchestral, um, uh, a little bit on the lighter side. Scott's more into the heavy, um, though I do, I do like all types of music, you know, industrial, um, experimental music. Um, but it's interesting because our, I guess what we like most is very differing, kind of on one end of the spectrum, he's on, on the other. Um, and so, yeah, when we came together to make this record, I mean, it took a long time for us to kind of find that sweet spot. Um, but it was really fun. It was a fun, fun process. Yeah. Do you do you guys think like uh like you guys having like different like musical tastes uh gives the music like more or like a variety and uniqueness uh since you both are coming from like different musical palettes? I would say yes. Um, because I mean there's a lot of the record that I would probably you know have something sound like that on my own but um you know i kind of had to slow everything down a little bit and then like incorporate like jason's sort of like tenderness into it um where you know the music that i generally make is way more fast and aggressive you know so um i think it was it was trying to find a balance of like jason's tender side and like my more like angry metal guy side okay yeah and I have a track that I think my two favorite tracks, I have two favorite tracks. I like uh, You Won't Be, I like to feel it, and the album Closer, uh, uh, Motion motion Picture, or Motion mm -hmm. Picture. Uh, yeah. You Won't Be, I like to feel it. It was interesting because I heard like some breathing, uh, what it sounded like, breathing noises. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about that track because it, that's, that was very unique sounding to me. Uh, I'll start on this one and you can chime in, but like, um, uh, you know, I've always been a Neubauten fan and um, we didn't, you know, we were nowhere near a scrapyard, so we couldn't, you know, get enough stuff to build what I would have liked. But uh, so we just went and we were, I mean, we made the whole record in the living room. So we just went into the kitchen, grabbed some pots and pans and started banging on them. And then that's, that's how the, I mean, that's how the track turned out. Yeah, no, and and the and, and who's doing the breathing exercise? That's Jason. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So so we had you know we started off with banging on the pots and pans and sort of like a percussive 
percussive ideas. And then I think Melody came shortly after. And then, and then the breathing was sort of another layer that we kind of came up with while, you know, a lot of these songs, we would just sit with them for a while, um, literally on the couch, <laughs> trying to, yeah. trying to feel out what the next part was or like, what, what, what could we add here to make it more interesting or is this part too dense? Do we need to pull something back? Um, yeah, it was, I mean, in some ways it was surgical and in some other ways it was um, a little bit more messy in the way we did these songs, but there was a lot of time spent on them, I think. Nice. And yeah, I think the, the, there's interesting parts in it. You know, it's, it's instrumental record. Uh, there's no one singing or anything like that. So it's more like a, like a feeling type of record, but you have some guest people, uh, uh, in some of the songs, uh, like when you're doing this music, uh, what, what would you like for the listener to take away from this type of music? Mm. I don't know, Jason. I mean, from my perspective, I don't think we ever made it for the listener necessarily. Mm -hmm. um, I think we made it for ourselves. You know, I know that's a cliche answer. I, I get that. But um, I mean, in this case, I, it was true for me. I can't speak to Jason. Well, you would want to make something that you would want to listen to. Um. <clears throat> I suppose so. I mean, I think I think for me, you know, I mean, I've been in bands with a bunch of different styles and this has always been sort of a, a region I haven't explored enough. So I, I, you know, for me, it was it was nice to be able to get with Jason and, and figure it out. OK, w what about you, Jason? Uh, yeah, I don't think we had the listener in mind, I, th I think. Yeah, it definitely was like a true exploration. And again, I think since we come from such different universes and what we usually listen to or fill our minds with, you know, um, uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was it was an art project and somehow we made a record. <laughs> so I don't I'm not sure we had the listener in mind. OK, yeah. So I, I want to show the artwork of the record. Uh... Which is pretty, you know, it's pretty cool, simple artwork. Uh, are the question are those sea urchins? No, they're um, this artwork was done by a guy named uh, Antonio Bond, with, who is an old friend of Jason's. But I used to work in a gallery, mm. um, in Austin when I lived there, and um, he was one of the artists that we had, and I really liked um. The imagery so we had him like the 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 other side of the record it has two back covers because we're dumb but like um the other side is pink and um and that one existed previously and i asked them to do one that was black for the other side of the record so it's all floral stuff i don't know exactly the type of flower but it's something to do with that he's like a really well-known florist he's um he's been on like uh hbo like floral competitions and stuff. I don't know. Interesting. I I know nothing about the floral world. But yeah, yeah. It, you know, I, I think the pink uh pumps uh, uh like stands out uh when you look mm -hmm. at this image. Uh so yeah this is a but this is the type of album that it's like hard to define like what this music is because you know it's it's not an easy to define type of record. Uh do do you have like a like a favorite track? Uh, from the record? No, no, not really. I mean, I, I mean, I, I like different tracks for different reasons, you know, because it's like there's um, there's elements in in different tracks that I like, you know, because I'm into metal, I'm into an industrial, I'm into ambient. So, you know, there's like you said, you like the last track, which is, you know, a little longer and a little more patient. Yeah, you but know, you like um, speech like turtle legs and that has like like an industrial side to it, like a harder side in some part of the tracks. 
Yeah. And then <clears throat> I think, you know, I listen to a song like the, Shh, you know, that song. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I found that one interesting because with all the other songs, we kind of like um, we layered things together, but with that one um, it's pretty much like Jason takes the first half and I take the second half. You know, so like once it once the heavier riffs come in, that's me, you know, like my sort of vibe and the, like the earlier stuff where it's like the quieter noodly guitar, that's like his vibe. So I think that one kind of it, it's nice that it's in the middle of the record because it kind of marries our our two styles. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a good segue to the second part. So uh, so for this type of project, is this something that you guys will do like will be stay like a like a studio project? And you get like once in a while and release music. Like, what's what would be like the plan for more or boy? Um, I mean, we've talked about trying to do it live. Um, logistics are a little tough right now because I live in Chicago and he lives in Texas. So, um, logistically, it's a little tough trying to find the right people to play with us because we played almost everything on the record except for you know the uh, the drums on those few songs and and some of the electronics by Surachai, but. Um, We talked about it. I mean, and people have asked us to do it, but we just weren't in a position where we could. Okay, so, yeah. yeah. So uh, I know the album's coming out on the August the second. Like, uh, uh, you're gonna have like, like it's just gonna be out digitally, correct? Or is there gonna be some physical copies? Uh, yeah, there's LPs. Okay. They're they're already pressed and ready to go. We're just uh, yeah. waiting for the release date. Awesome, and I put the link here in Bandcamp for people that want to buy it uh, physically. So I would recommend this for someone who likes, like, like uh, I would say this is like, like, ele like harder electronic music. You know, we, like I, I mentioned, like some parts, like I remember, like Nine Inch Nails, uh, more of their like instrumental stuff. So yeah, if you like that type of like hard instrumental music, I think this is. Uh, there would be something that would people like. I, I think we. I don't know if Jason's. <laughs> I can't see Jason. He's yeah, I think his signal got lost. Yeah. yeah well, uh, but at least he could be with part of the interview with me. So I wanna, you know, thank you both, Jason, when he was here, and and <laughs> for uh, for joining me to talk about uh, Moy. Uh, it's an interesting project. I enjoyed it. Uh, so anything you like to say to people like uh, like. Like maybe having her. Ah, we got Jason back. <laughs> oh, he's back. Right when we're saying goodbye. Yeah, we're Can saying goodbye. And all of a sudden I'm like, I wonder what happened to Jason. Hopefully, he, the good thing is, uh, like, he, you are good. Uh, uh, this is, I think, the second time that I've had someone who's been driving while I I'm eat. so sorry. <laughs> I, didn't, I, don't, uh, I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Um, I'm moving my daughter into her first apartment. No, no, no. I don't mean that. It's just kind of, I'm like, I hope it's not dangerous. <laughs> like driving um, and talking. I like to live, I like to live on the edge. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm just kidding. We're, we're, it's safe. Okay. No, Thank no. You. Is this, were, were you guys in the goodbye, in the goodbyes? Yes. We were saying like, or people, uh, the last question that I have is like, what would you like say for maybe someone who hasn't heard the band? Uh, how would you like tell describe the band for them to check them out? Check you guys out. That is, that's been a hard one. <laughs> I think we've all had a hard time with what the description would be. Yeah, I was I was saying like people like if you like like uh like hard electronic music uh, with some edge to it, I think this is the type of music that you would enjoy. I think so too. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So. I mean, it's not straight in, it's not like straight industrial music, but I think that no. description works. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not straight industrial music. So uh, I want to thank you both, uh, Scott and Jason, for joining me this afternoon, uh, virtually here on the couch to talk about the album. So people, the album is out August the 2nd. I'll put the link for people who want to pre-order the album physically. So until next time, people, this is Hector, the Shield Dude on a Couch. And I'll see you all right here on the couch. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.